Hey guys, this is uh, Tubu Player without the A or the E, and uh, we're gonna play a little bit of roguelike uh, while I still have time to make a couple videos here. Um, we're just gonna just drop straight down to level one, and uh, hopefully this goes a little bit better than last time. I'm gonna try to watch out for spikes, since spikes are a are major, uh, a major contender in our death, or a major participant. And killing us, making sure there's no enemies. Sometimes you just, I guess, I guess some of the meta is like, can I get, okay. I was about to be super depressed if I could not get over there. I guess some of the meta is like, you have to um, shoot your arrows to gain vision over a long distance, then remember where those arrows lit up for you. And then, oh, there's an arrow. Is that an arrow? That's not an arrow. I do want to get up here, though. Okay. We are hitting a lot of lights. Don't get me wrong. Oh, I got a double arrow. I don't know what that does. I don't know what the chance of a double arrow does for me. Right? Because, like... I should probably use his arrow to kill this guy, huh? Okay. And I'm running in the dark, which is never a good sign. Okay. Oh, thank the Lord for the arrow pick up there. I would have been roaming around in that tiny space for like... I'm trying to go up, because I feel like... Um, going up is the best point of action. Nothing. Okay. As much as I didn't want to shoot that lantern, I shot it because of the coinage. Alright, so unfortunately getting rid of that guy means that I don't have a vision anymore. <laughs> and I don't want to die. Oh no, I don't want to die. So I think what we do is backtrack a little bit. Instead of going up, we have a lantern lit over here. Okay, good. Two arrows is exactly what I needed. And we try to go down when we can. I also don't want to, um... Of course there's nowhere to go there. Uh, this might be a loss. I can't think of a way to go. And I have to keep this arrow up. This is exactly where we've been, right? Is there something over here, maybe? No. Hmm. I think we kill ourselves. If I can remember where to kill ourselves at. I mean, unless we can by chance find a way out of here. I mean, I'm thinking that... Okay. Is that, That's the dead end area, right? Where there's nothing. So then we come over here. We have, we have to come over here. Okay. Ah, oh, darn it. I somehow made it up, and then I fell down. Okay. I'm, like, making precision jumps in the darkness. I was making... I was making precision jumps in the darkness. Hopefully... I should really get better at my jumping game. Because if I was good at jumping in this game... Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so I've lit this. So I've been here before. I think I just killed myself. There's a guy up there. Um, and I know there's death over here. 
right? Is there not death over here? There is. Okay, well, we did... I mean, we only got to level one, I think, right? Was that level one? Uh, but we can buy the jump height, which I'm I'm gonna welcome because um, we need it, and I think we use that on our next run here. Uh, I like our arrow count. Look at that arrow count. We don't necessarily need health as long as we keep our arrow game up. Okay, we got that. We do have hearts. All around and arrows all around wait oh I got the free arrow oh that's so good oh I saw you I saw you in the darkness dude okay we're gonna like that just so we know what's going on a little bit more I come over here get the two arrows oh I love the three arrows over there perfect we're getting coinage that's all that matters we want to try to maximize how much coin we get. And we do get an, an arrow there. Which is awesome. Now I wonder if the magic arrow, how does it give you free arrows? Does it drop them on the ground based on how you shoot? Because uh, then the double arrow would be useful, right? It would be super useful because... It would be super useful if it if it drops it based on the arrow that you shoot because if you have a double arrow, um, you would be able to get two arrows back instead of one, and then um, then all of a sudden you have this nasty combo. Can I please not? Oh my goodness, dude! I need these arrows to survive. The game doesn't understand. We do have uh, a plethora of arrows on the ground, as well as a plethora of- Oh, wow, dude, spikes are so hard to see coming. Luckily, there were hearts there to forgive us, but... We could probably get this without getting hurt, right? Yeah. Um... We're gonna go over here. We gotta light this lantern to see what's going on a little bit. And we come over here. Don't kill me, dude. We do get two arrows back. If we use one of them to light this. Perfect, because if I didn't light that, I would have no idea that this was here. I mean, I knew this guy was here, but I thought I would have to backtrack. Maybe we should like this. And we know that there's a guy here. And we're out of arrows. Oh no. Oh game, please stop. Oh good. Okay, I'm on the next level with no arrows. And I mean, that's, that's what you get for having no arrows, right? I mean, you need to... I need to figure out the balance between conserving my arrows and using them to do th to kill enemies slash hit lanterns, right? Because like I need to see, and the lanterns perform uh, like give that permanent see or vision, but you don't have arrows to kill enemies or see yourself later down the line. There's got to be like a rhyme or reason to it, right? Um, so, looks like we can buy anything in the second row, but the third row is available to us now. Still can't get the ten starting coins, however. Um. Arrow speed? What, what the F does arrow speed matter? Is my question. I think we leave arrow speed alone and we just go for, like, brightness later. Minus one damage and spikes. I don't know if we actually need that because we want to kill ourselves sometimes. <laughs> as bad as that sounds to say, or that sounds to say out loud, but I mean, sometimes you just need to kill yourself with this girl. Because, I mean, 
Uh, if you're in darkness and you have no arrows, there's nothing you can do. Unless there's something, like, game mechanic-wise, I'm not getting. Uh, yeah, so this has been uh, Roguelite. I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to like, comment, subscribe if you feel necessary. Uh, this has been Tuba Player. Peace out.